first one and then I'd slip the second one and I would try and counter the opponent's second jab with the right hand over the top. Okay? So imagine he's throwing the 1-1 one, one, and he's stepping in with it. I miss the first one. I slip the second one and I counter him with the right hand. Okay? And then where can I go? I'm going to left uppercut because I've hit him with the right hand, I've hit him with the left uppercut. So there's two on the five. Okay? So in real time, he steps in with one, 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 slip. I count him with a two. I hit him with a five. Hit him with a two. Hit him with a three. Okay? And as you'll notice there, my body is starting to be used like a seesaw. Okay? I'm using all the mechanics of punching and transferring weight from leg to leg and going back to session one that is why it's so important to have balance at all times okay now i've probably got a little bit carried away there in coaching and maybe coaching um a little bit more advanced than I would out on the box clever bus program. Um, so I'm gonna give you some real simple drills to practice in your home tonight, tomorrow, or whenever else you're at home whilst we're all in isolation. And that would be to have that balance, have that imaginary line feeling in the body, be side on, elbows tucked in, hands high, chin down, okay? When throwing that one, turning that knuckle over the last six inches, okay? Turning that knuckle over with a two. And again, remember to turn that foot in, okay? Again, I mentioned on Tuesday that turning that foot in just gives you that extra six inches reach. And although your opponent may think you're out of range, once you turn that foot in, you're actually in range. Okay, and that's the difference, that element of surprise and really, really switching somebody off and scoring um, a shot. So, the drills I want you to practice on is stepping in, one, two, stepping out, one, two, moving left, one, two, moving right, one, two, and I want you to add one. I want you to go step in, one, two, three, step out. One, two, three. Step to the left. One, two, three. Step to the right. One, two, three. Go again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Notice now my feet never come together. Because when I'm moving forward, I move my front foot first. When I'm moving back, I move my back foot first. When I'm moving left, I move my left foot first. When I'm moving right, move my right foot first. And that Rule of thumb is the same whether you're orthodox or southpaw. Look, I'm southpaw, I'm moving forward, front foot, moving back, back, moving right, right, moving left, left foot. My feet have still got that balance, they've still got that imaginary line through the middle of my body. I'm always in a position to attack or defend. Okay? So, where do we get to? One, two, three, four. Right, we're going to go into one, two, three, four, five now. One, two, three, four, five. 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 All right, and finally, your last drill of session two is to practice right through the punch variety, right through the combos. In one, two, three, four, five, six, back. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And for me, that's as far as I'm going to go on session two of this box cover program. You've got the basic stance, you've got the balance, you've got the hand positioning, you've got it there, you've got to be side on, you've got the rules for moving forward, backwards, side and side. And I've shown you the six punch combination. I also digressed a little bit and got into tactics and slipping and sliding and then i reminded myself that we are only on session two that's just the passion bursting out of me but i hope you've enjoyed this small video on instagram tv and i look forward to chatting with you all 
on Tuesday. And remember, please, please stay at home. Don't just think about your family. Think about other people's families too.